All right, just got to the farm and we actually just harvested soybeans out here. Time for another Bitcoin miner. This is crazy because this miner will consistently put us over to pay to hash a second, which historically was like 10 Bitcoin miners for one pay to hash in the S19 generation. Uh, this is another S19K, it's a different model. And uh, right now, dollar for dollar, depending on your electricity rate, this is arguably the best Bitcoin miner you could be buying. You could be building a Bitcoin mining farm with. Why though? How much does it really earn? And does this model in particular perform as it's supposed to? Let's set it up. I just unplugged the Miner K7. It's the worst miner in history. I've got huge stability issues with the K7 amp miners. Um, that one in particular causes me a lot of problems. Uh, so I'm subbing it out for that. And I'm actually gonna add another electric circuit uh, in this building in a couple of days uh, because I need to run more miners in here as I work through uh, an issue with the digital shovel mini pod uh, where basically half of my pod is not working, which has decreased my mining farm capacity by 12 miners. Uh, that's a critical decrease that I wasn't ready for. Uh, so trying to make sure I keep everything online, have my uptime. Uh, so just got that plugged in. Let's jump behind a computer screen and uh, get this thing set up to our mining pool. And then I'll do an update here in a few days and we can check out the stability, the real world mining profitability. Uh, and then I'm gonna break down the, just the economics, I guess, of this miner and what sets us up to be one of, if not the best miner you can buy right now, maybe. I may look a little tired right now and I'll be honest, it's because I am. Spent all day working on building out the Voscoin Bitcoin mining farm further. I'm, I'm laying it on the line here. Like, let's, let's do it. Uh, so just poured some concrete, did some wiring out there. It's just, it's quite literally heating up, but we're installing things also quite literally to cool it down. Uh, so I'm pretty engaged with this stuff, obviously. I believe in it and uh, I believe in, you know, my ability to build a proper mining farm here. And then I hope that you guys believe in me enough to subscribe uh, to the channel and stick around. So check this out. We got 23 Bitcoin miners online now, over two pay to hash a second consistently. And a lot of these are tuned for efficiency. We're gonna be looking at the S19K Pro 115 terahash second version. And uh, you know we're gonna be contrasting that to the 120 terahash second version. Uh, these are flying off the shelves. Uh, these are the, you know, one of the go-to pickups right now. Uh, they're very good miners for what they are. They're the best of the last batch, the the last hoorah probably for the S19 series, but we'll, we'll see, you never know a Bitmain. Uh, but you know, we see 2,500 directly from Bitmain and I did get this from Badgerland. Uh, so thank you Badgerland for this miner to review to compare it to the 120 terahash second version. You would be surprised how many differences uh, there can always be. Justin Kramer, Badgerland, he's a cool guy. Uh, he can help you source a miner. Tell him the boss coin sent you if you want the best deal. Justin merged his company Badgerland Mining Crypto uh, with Quantum Expeditions and they're doing a public fundraise. Uh, we had him on the Voscoin podcast, which is a new thing that you should check out. Basically talking about how he's working on building a publicly traded Bitcoin mining farm. That's the goal, that's the destination. Uh, so let's kind of start digging in to the S19K Pro. So this is the 115 terahash a second version. And this is the 120 terahash 
a second version. And for some weird reason, Tuner keeps failing on this. This S19K is already immersed. Uh, it's already running in immersion fluid. Uh, that video is not out yet though, so I can just simply show you a quick teaser or something. I was also working on a new updated Brains Toolbox video, and I, you know, I was like, oh, I need to get on this 19K because that one's on deck to get dunked in our next immersion deployment. Uh, so I slapped Brains OS on it, uh, kind of impacting the initial out of the box review. So this is where it gets crazy, er, er. <laughs> So I'm, 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 I'm getting delirious. Uh, so this thing is hashing at a higher hash rate. It is ha hashing at a higher efficiency or about the same here as the 120 terahash second version. So, you know, I don't, I don't know why the tuner keeps failing here on the uh, 120 terahash the second version. Uh, so what I'm going to do now here is I'm just going to, you know, take it for a different kind of spin. I'm gonna tell it, okay, you can use up to 3000 watts, tune yourself, get efficient, get powerful. And we're gonna see if that kind of makes any difference. Uh, I'll splice in an update if it does. If you don't see me again, uh, you know, there's a later add on in this video, then it did not. Uh, but let's focus on the S19K 115 terash second version, right? So this is a Bitmain amp miner. They're an ASIC miner manufacturer, application specific integrated circuit miner. It means it's packed full of these ASIC chips. It is a brand new release, brand new miner. This one is air cooled. Uh, so this has not been dunked yet. It's just sitting upstairs on the floor, uh, as you can see here at Boss Queen HQ. Uh, very good performance. I mean, truly, right? 22 and a half watts of terahash, 118 terahash a second, you know, from the dashboard. And let's see what the mining pool says. It says on average over the last 24 hours, we have a scoring hash rate. And this is based, this, what, what the mining pool says you do is what you get paid off of, okay? Uh, so 116 terahash a second. Good, beating the projection there. Uh, is that a little bit due to brains and the tuner or not? It's hard to say. Uh, but this is more or less pretty much on target for where I want to be. And let me just, you know, show you another miner for comparison. This is an S19J Pro. This is a 104 terahash a second model. This model has been out for a couple of years. I downclocked these or underclocked them to 2,200 watts. It says it's drawn about 2,034. And I measured these at the wall. This dashboard power consumption reporting has proven to be accurate in my experience. Uh, this is running in an immersion tank. And after downclocking these to about 2200, the tuner runs and does its thing. And this is all in the Brains OS, right? Which is a aftermarket firmware for these Bitmain uh, miners. I'm getting probably about 25 watts of terahash uh, for efficiencies. So you may notice, right, it was up towards 26. And now it's trending down. And I see this thing go anywhere between like 24, 26. I say it's probably 25 watts terahash. Uh, I like to estimate a little bit high too. Uh, that way I don't end up getting burned when really a lot of things in life. Hey guys, it's Miss Bosk here to tell you about today's video sponsor, BRN Token. BRN is a Web3, AI, and metaverse project built on the Binance Smart Chain. Their GameFi games offer users the ability to earn tokens while gaming, and closed beta versions of these games will be launching in the coming months. They've launched a sub-token and are burning BRN tokens to support it. They plan to burn 90% of their token supply in the next few months. BRN is available on Mexi and Gate.io currently, and they also have an audit completed by Interfi. To learn more about BRN, check out the link in the video description below. This is not an endorsement or financial advice. Please do your own research before investing. So just kind of look at that, right? Out of the box, and, and the going rate for these miners in particular, probably like 1,000 to 1,500, uh, depending on your order quantity. And now we compare that to the S19K Pro 115 terahash second version. This is a significant efficiency increase. You know, we're saving a few watts per terahash. And the difference is bigger than you realize at a glance because not only is that efficiency there, right? That this is at least 10% more efficient, okay? And the density is substantial. It's 40 more terahash a second. That's 50% more Bitcoin mining power. That's 50% more Bitcoins that are going to your pocket. 
And that leads to density, right? I can deploy two of these miners or three of the S19J Pros. Now I need more ethernet cables. I need more power cables. I need more shelf space on the rack. I mean, I need everything. So really any way you slice it, this is clearly a better miner. It's an interesting improvement, but the S19J Pros have a huge workhorse track record. You know, they're historically uh, fantastic miners overall. So a quick note, just to, you know, add a little bit to the story with the S19K Pro 120 terahash second, the one where the tuner failed. Uh, we've restarted it and now we can see the tuner's running. It's not like the tuner, you know, fails the second it turns on. Uh, we can see that it's added a little bit of juice. Now it's hashing over 120 terahash a second. Uh, you know, and, and so tuner, auto tuner on brains, it basically, you know, tries to get you the most hash rate, you know, per the power consumption there. So, uh, you know, I'm not here to push brains on you or anything like that. I initially started using brains due to immersion deployments uh, because if I go to the configuration, temperature and fans, uh, we can see click here to enable immersion mode. So you don't need a fan spoofer. You can just throw these things right into a tub of immersion fluid uh, and they will run, run, run. Uh, I've been happy with it. I mind the brain's pool, get a reduced fee, all that stuff. Uh, so again, you know, you do whatever you want to do. I got a link out below. Tell them you saw, you saw this on boss coin and maybe they'll send me a sweet t-shirt. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, it works out. Uh, I'm fortunate to have, you know, connected with most of the major players in the Bitcoin and crypto mining game uh, as we've worked on the Voscoin mining farm over the years. And it's gotten very serious recently over the past couple years and, uh, you know, trying to build the Voscoin YouTube channel uh, this entire duration, you know, what, over seven years now. Freaking crazy. So let's talk about Bitcoin real quick, right? I mean, Bitcoin's up recently, almost $40 million in newly mined coins or transaction fees per day. That's a lot, that's substantial. That's about double what we were seeing a few months ago. Difficulty has been going up overall. It's becoming more difficult to mine Bitcoin uh, because everyone's turning more rigs on. They continue to build farms and uh, they continue to uh, buy rigs. Bitcoin block half. There's a halving coming up. <laughs> Honestly, about four months. This will cut the amount of Bitcoin's mined per half. So let's just take that at face value. That means instead of 40 million, we're gonna be looking at 20 million a day, right? And so how much did these miners earn? So Bitcoin mining profitability on these has been going up. There was an early model that was supposed to do 136 terahash second version. I haven't seen many of them. I haven't been able to get one in. Uh, but so this is a little bit inflated, right? But it says it's all the way up to uh, 17 bucks a day in mining profitability. Uh, realistically, I think you're looking more like 12, 13 dollars a day in Bitcoin mining profitability uh, with these miners. To kind of put that into perspective, if you're paying 10 cents per kilowatt hour uh, and you're using these 120 or 115 terahash models, which consume 2,700 to 2,800 watts, uh, which is a significant drop from this. Uh, you know, you're probably going to be looking at around, you know, $7 a day or so in the electric bill. So we need to be making at least 14 bucks a day right now for that to be cut in half, right, at the halving, and then just be able to break even. If I can, you know, at least still break even on miners, and, and I have a higher electricity rate, I'm working towards getting a lower one and deploying solar panels and, you know, never enough time in the day. As, as it stands, you know, that's the reality. My rate is 10 cents per kilowatt hour, and I'll have a cheaper rate one day. But the point here being is that I need this monitor to make at least 14 bucks a day uh, and for that to be cut in half and I can still run the operation and break even. Uh, obviously running a break even business is not the uh, best business plan, uh, if you will. Uh, so that's obvious uh, and breaking even is the best of the worst uh, situation. So understand that most buyers of this miner are going to be somebody just buying one rig uh, and they hope it works out and it's a hobby, you know, it's not everything on the line, as well as major mining farms with very cheap electricity rates. You know, I'm talking about this at a relatively high electricity rate for Bitcoin mining, but Bitcoin mining farms, they have rates at, you know, two cents, three cents, five cents, seven cents, eight cents. Uh, they have all these electricity rates that just absolutely embarrass uh, 
many more expensive rates, obviously. The less you pay the electric company and you can still run the gear, the more money or even more, more important, much better, the more Bitcoins in your pocket. Uh, so, you know, my initial impressions on the S19K Pro 115 terahash second version, it doesn't really seem any worse than the 120. Uh, I'm actually surprised how similar their performance is on brains, but I'm not getting the best you know, maybe experience here since tuner's not, it, it, this is the only rig I've ever had this problem on. It keeps failing on this miner. Uh, and we can see my 24 hour hash rate on the miner that has a higher advertised hash rate is 114 terahash a second. And then the 115 is at 116 and a half terahash a second. Uh, so in this is not the best perfect data, but this is what I have currently at the moment is that the 115 terahash a second S19K Pro is actually better than the 120 terahash a second S19K Pro. Uh, so we'll see how the performance changes here. We'll see if Tuner can stick around and get a stable version going there. Uh, you can see after bumping it up, it's using a bit more juice. Efficiency is a little bit worse, but still very good. And the hash rate has gone up nearly 10 terahash a second uh, from what it was averaging uh, before. And another way you can look at performance and see what that power rate is. Again, you obviously saw me put in the 3000 watts. If we go to the 115, we can see a little bit better efficiency hash rate right there and if we go to the performance you can see that it took the default power configuration for the s19k pro 115 tera hash second version which is 2760 watts uh so at the end of the day the s21 probably is going to be the a better miner uh better density uh, but it costs more uh, so it's going to come down to your budget, your electricity rate, and, you know, kind of what this Bitcoin mining endeavor uh, will end up being for you. At the end of the day, I think that mining Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies is the best way to earn passive income. It's not financial advice. You do whatever you want to do, but I'm quite literally putting my money where my mouth is. Just like you should be putting your finger on that mouse and, or I guess maybe you're on your phone, touchscreen, tap, tap, uh, and click in, punch in. If you haven't ever, because I don't want you unsubscribing, the subscribe button. So I'm going to close this out on 10 seconds of tales. We run that on every video. She is our CBO, our chief Bitcoin officer here at the Voscoin YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. I know this is kind of a quick one, a crash course. It's been a crazy day. It's a crazy night. It's a crazy time. It's a crazy year. It's a crazy something. It's a crazy crypto journey. Uh, I hope you have a very happy holiday. I hope you have a great experience over the next couple weeks. Uh, and I uh, wish you guys Merry Christmas and everything else. And I seriously mean this, like if you watch Foscoin and you come back and you watch again and once in a while you, you take the time to make a comment, I, I, I read those and I appreciate you tuning in and your interaction, your engagement, your viewership keeps this channel going. It contributes positively to this operation and it means a lot. So this is nothing without you. So thank you.